Hello everybody and welcome to the, to episode 6 of Project Nexus. I'm 6 to Ruby Prince 6 and um, I have a little bit of explaining to do. You see, you may or may not have noticed that there has been a large delay in this, between the schedule of this, this episode of Project Nexus and the last. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that's that's entirely true and also because a lot has happened and I have been busy. You may not recognize it's another tunnel that I'm walking through and uh hold on, I need to go get gold armor before this dude kills me. I have zero idea why that guy how how or why that guy got in that tunnel, but I'm not going to question it. That is his business, not mine. Anyways, if you've been keeping up with my live streams, which if you haven't, totally fair. I have been working on making an Enderman farm in the end. You know, because that's where Endermen are. And to make an Enderman farm, you have to get an Endermite. And you have to make sure it doesn't despawn. And to make sure an Endermite doesn't despawn, you have to get a name tag. I have spent the past week or so and roughly three live streams trying to find a name tag so that I can just get this stupid farm over with and stop dying. Oh. Uh. Hey dude, how's it going? This place is a mess. Anyways, what I was- what I've been trying to say is... Yeah, I've been a little bit preoccupied. <laughs> just, you know, just a little bit. What with the, um... I have died to the void. Twice. And... Basically lost every single piece of diamond gear that I owned. Which is very fun, let me tell you that. Best thing I've ever experienced, honestly. 10 out of 10, no notes. I'm being sarcastic. It was horrible. What's even more horrible... Trying to figure out what the hell is going on in this... Oh, that scared me. Okay, there's a guy there. There's two guys there. Um... Really, I can't believe I'm... Can't believe I'm getting... Can't believe I'm actually taking damage from two skeletons. Literally, this is a dead end hallway. I should have known better. I do know better, actually. I don't just don't know what went, what came into me. Man. Anyways, as I was saying, it's not very easy to uh go and do things when you're busy with other things because I also have this embroidery thing going on and at this like in real life and at the same time I also have a bunch of schoolwork and I'm and I decided that it would that it was a cool idea for me to write an entire play which honestly don't know how I came to that conclusion but it's going fine so Whatever, I guess. Ah, here it is. I think it's somewhere down here, if that wasn't a dead end. Staircase. Thank you very much, Minecraft. Very cool. Hi, everybody. I forgot to open OBS before recording. Um, I, uh, yeah, I don't even have an excuse for this one. I'm just an idiot. However, um, we have gotten the name tag because I found an, uh, mineshaft. And I did the thing, and now we have one. I have named it something incredibly mature because it is taking me three live streams in the past couple of weeks to get this thing even going. So, uh, currently I am in the process of throwing ender pearls to try and spawn an endermite, which is the worst process on planet Earth, especially because Minecraft insists that you have to keep taking damage every single time that you want it every single time that you throw something. 
Great job, Minecraft. Fantastic game design. You know, come to think of it, that is an incredibly dangerous job. I'm just gonna go ahead and cover that up before somebody dies. I'm referring to me to myself here. I really am not in the mood for dying today. I have officially run out of ender pearls, so it's time for the fun part. It's the loudest thing on Earth. It, uh, takes a minute, especially since I have the worst sword on planet Earth, but, you know, it works. It does the job. Not bad. Anyways. Completely stuck the landing on that last ladder drop, guys. Ignore my health bar. Everything is fine. Last into Pearl. Nothing's going to happen, is it? Nope. Thought I didn't think so. Hmm. <sighs> I should also probably go get some more leaves. That's an important part of the farm that I just completely forgot existed. Also, I really need to add railings to this. Like, this gives me anxiety. There comes a point where bad luck goes beyond bad luck and turns into something that seems a little more personal. Okay, note to self. There is like zero tools in here. Right, craft some of those. Make guardrails for the leaf path. And do not fuck this over. Do not. Just don't. So we go and find another name tag. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Easy enough, right? Where did you come from? Oh, up there probably. Yeah, makes sense. Still stupid of you, honestly. You should have just not. Here. Let me save you the trouble. Fuck off. Yeah, there we go. Anyways, I have dropped down into the lower levels of this place. Should really make some kind of staircase up. This is probably like the worst circumstances that one could possibly be caving in and we do not want that to happen that's the creeper great okay it's way darker down here i just need hello minecraft i just need another name tag please that's literally it thank you i love you you know sometimes i wonder what happened to this place like Obviously, there was something important going on with it once. These people had entire, like, transport networks going on. His stuff is crazy, and now they're just... gone. It doesn't feel right. Something's wrong here, but... I feel like it's been wrong for a while. I don't think that's my judgment to make. I think there's some mysteries you're not meant to solve and some things that you just can't fix. And if this is one of them, then I'm okay with that. Please. Okay, great. Ooh, glowberries. I will gladly take those. And like, just in case. It's there anything else down here uh something down here but that's a dead end so nope i guess we go back to the surface now and don't mess everything up that's a bad idea at least there's one dimension that likes me i feel like i'm on neutral terms with the nether at least 
Because, like, you know, I haven't been doing, like, too much crazy stuff in there. Just kind of going through the fortresses, you know, doing normal things. And I think, though, and, and I think I'm, I'm on at least good terms with the overworld, considering that, you know, I've gotten pretty damn lucky here as time has worn on, but... I do have an idea though, and it probably won't work, but it does have something to do with me not being <laughs> stupidly reckless. So, I think this time I'll go in with more respect and less reckless abandon. I'm gonna make a chest just so that I can put my name tag in it and not like have it horribly get lost to the void after like weeks of me searching for one so that I'll, I'll at least have it the next time I go into the end and yeah I also I don't know maybe the end just needs to be appeased in some way maybe there just needs to be something paid back in to make up for the fact that I'm going to be killing all this all these endermen. You know, it makes sense that it wouldn't like that, honestly. And this is probably completely crazy. Everybody knows that the dimensions aren't sentient. There's just random chance and sometimes things go better for you or worse for you, but Superstition has been a characteristic of many animals, including humans, for millions of years, so I may as well participate in a time-honored tradition while I'm at it. <laughs> the nature of humanity is that every so often somebody reinvents theology. I'm like, you know, I've been respectful to the Nether and its inhabitants. I've been wearing gold armor every time I come in here. Because, you know, that's a rule. And I get that. And I'm fine with following that, but... Hmm. Yeah. Good rule of thumb. Whenever you go to a new place, learn the rules. And unless you have a really good reason to, follow them. First step is go back out here, place down a chest, and get the name tag in it because I'm not going to be making that mistake again. It's still terrifying. Hey! Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not talking to. I'm not talking to the void. There's no reason to take it that far. Okay, name tag and. Extra needed leaves are safely in the chest, and now I just go back and get enough ender pearls to hopefully summon an enderman. I have enough food for it this time. I have too many torches on me, actually. I don't need the torches. I should put those back in the chest. Back down to the hell pit we go. God, I need to add a fucking railing to this thing. This is giving... After falling off of this like three times in a row with this is giving me anxiety i yeah okay i see what osha is all about now this makes total sense dear lord yeah i don't think that this is happening it's really strange because i got an endermite practically first tried the last time but you know, obviously that didn't work at all, so. Yep, back to the, back to the island, I guess. You know what I need? I need a minecart railway going from here to my stronghold portal because this is, I think, the eighth or ninth time that I've made this journey today, and it's starting to really grate on me. Oh no. Okay, well at least I didn't lose the... 
Oh, no, 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 don't despawn, don't despawn, at least I didn't lose everything that I owned, but that's still, okay. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, I have all my stuff still there, there's nothing that the Endermite can do to, I just get the name tag and then put it back on. Then the, finally this farm can be over with and we won't have to worry. What if it already despawned though? Okay, please don't have despawned. If this thing is already despawned, then I'm going to start crying. Just come on, please, 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 please. Is it gone? It's already gone. Okay. <sighs> Great. I really don't think that this game wants me to get this farm done. Like, I'm sincerely, like, I'm pretty sure at this point that it just doesn't want this to happen. Which is fine. It's fine. It's fine. Literally fine. Everything is fine. I think this is about my fifth or sixth attempt trying to get one of these things to spawn and like actively like name tag it and I don't like this is torture man I think I might actually just like have to give up on this and go at it again later because uh Yeah, no, this is not going well. Yeah, okay, you know what? I have other things to do anyways. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna go back home. Like, I'm just, this is not worth my time. <laughs> straight up just not worth it. I'll do this later when I'm not extremely tired and doing just like absolutely horribly on top of literally everything else. <sighs> Anyways, all qualms with the end dimension aside, I think there there's a couple things that I can do in the meantime while taking a break on that project because I was it was starting to be more of a chore than anything. I thought that it was going to be a very quick thing that I would have no problem with whatsoever. I was wrong. For reference, I have this entire episode has been recorded over the course of roughly a month because I am incredibly busy and I haven't had time to do all of the things that I've wanted to do in between recording, so yeah. <laughs> However, I got a golden axe from a ruined portal and I managed to get half a stack of bookshelf, which if you did not know, bookshelves are basically the exact sort of thing that you want so that you can get, you know, high level enchantments on the on your stuff. Hello there, gentlemen. Um yeah, I think I was going to put my enchantments out there, but I think um I don't have my water bucket on me. Hold on. Okay, how about you, idiot? Okay, well that didn't work half as well as I hoped it did. It would, but you know, that's kind of the it's kind of one of the horrors of life. Things don't go well. Actually, you know what? Maybe we could put this down here. So, if we do something like this and then break all of this, then have the crafting table in the center surrounded these with the bookshelves. That should be good, I think. There we go. Actually, you know what I could actually I could also probably fill the tops of these up if I wanted to, but it's a start. 
I have roughly two stacks of lapis with me, and if I go and get my diamond sword, I can throw this in here. Knockback, sharpness, and unbreaking three. Of course, that's the level 30 enchantment. <sighs> well, you know what would really help with that would be an experience farm, but I'm not doing that again. There's no, j no, j no. I have basic self respect, okay? I actually already have the Breaking 3 book, but eh. Oh yeah, I also have the. <laughs> My recording macro that I use to start recording using OBS is Alt-L, so when I went to put the bow in, I started recording and it added an L to the end of the bow, which I wasn't planning on, that, on doing that, but you know what, that's really funny and I've decided to keep it. Anyways, while Halloween has come and gone and Louis the, St and Louis the Scarecrow hasn't seen anything of note yet that he's wanted to tell me, I think this is a good time to cut off the episode even though we didn't really get too much done today. Sometimes things just don't work out and that's perfectly okay. There's other things that we can turn our minds to. For example, getting more diamonds, or perhaps even going to the end, and, of course, getting two more name tags so that I can name these guys. Speaking of, if you have any names for them, feel free to leave a comment on that. I know that, like, the whole, like, leaving a comment thing is... I don't like to fish for interactions. However, I do think that it would be neat if y'all named these two little guys because, um... Yeah, as of right now, I don't have names for them, and they're just kind of sitting here unnamed, which is a very sad thing for any type of animal that you consider a friend. So, yeah. Anyways, that is it for this episode of Project Nexus. Very sorry for the delay. Thank you all for your patience. Don't like, don't subscribe. I'm not your mom, and I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye!